it is not one of the usual mornings. Pinch me if I'm dreaming right now, because this guy looks like something out of a dream. Imagine what stories it would tell us if it could talk. How much must it have hurt people sitting and talking inside it? Meet the Mercedes 220 SB W111 series from Maharaja's personal collection of vintage cars. Previously, it was owned by the Rajmata of Jaipur, Gayatri Devi. She used to go in this car to attend polo matches with members of the royal family. And it is an honor for me to be driving this car today. It will always hold a particular place in my heart. Now, let's take a closer look at this car. The Mercedes-Benz W111 was a chassis code given to a range of Mercedes-Benz cars produced between 1959 and 1971. It was quite spacious and had an elegantly designed body. The most unique feature was its tail fin, which was a concession to American influence on contemporary tastes. This 2.2-litre carbureted inline six-cylinder engine produced 110 horsepower at 5,000 rpm and 17.5 mkg torque at 3,500 rpm. The length of this car is 4,875 mm, the width is 1,795 mm and the height is 1,500 mm. Today, all of these models are referred to as fin tails. A chrome strip was added to either side of the radiator grille, as well as a chrome-plated air intake grille in front of the windshield and chrome-plated wheel trim on the 220SP. The new model series set new standards in terms of passive safety. Safety was also given top priority in the design of the interior. It had a padded instrument panel, for example, with yielding and in-part recessed controls, as well as a steering wheel with padded bars. It's also worth noting that safety door locks were used for the first time in this manner, which are also important contributors to accident safety. Well, it was quite impressive according to that era. And trust me, this car drives so smoothly even today. By the way, did I show you where Maharani Gayatri Devi lived? Come with me. This is the former residence of the Maharaja of Jaipur and his Queen Gayatri Devi, the Rambag Palace. Let me begin by telling you a little about the history of this palace. It was built in 1835 as a hunting lodge. It was converted to a palace in 1925 as the residence of the Maharaja of Jaipur and finally converted as India's first palace hotel in 1957. The Taj group of hotels has carefully preserved the effortless elegance of the Indian royal life here. It is a destination palace resort set over 47 acres of beautiful landscaped gardens. They have this beautiful pool here. This was once the Queen's private pool. Isn't it so huge and wonderful? Indoor and outdoor pools, croquet and Indian therapies at Jeeva Spa are just a few of the activities available on the vast grounds. Now let me take you to one of my favourite places here, the Polo Bar. With its display of trophies worn by the late Maharaja, is considered one of the world's finest bars. Well, I had an amazing time in the palace. Getting behind the wheel of this car was once in a lifetime experience. If you have any further questions, please drop them in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to Miss Wheeler to stay up to date on all the beautiful stories from behind the wheel.